plus 28 upon x square plus 5x minus 14. Once again, put x equal to minus 7. Minus 7 square 49, 11 7s are 77, but minus plus 28 upon 49 minus 35 minus 14. So if we calculate this, you will get 0 by 0. So one factor is now clear. X plus 7 is one factor. So let us find out the factor. Limit x tends to minus 7, x plus 7, x plus 4. This is one factor. Another factor is x plus 7, x minus 2. Uh, you know that how to factorize. And now put x equal to minus 7. So minus 7 plus 4, minus 7 minus 2. So here we get minus 3, here we get minus 9. And if we cancel 3 minus 3, we get answer 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 is the answer for question number 17. Let us do 18. Question number 18. Question is limit x tends to minus 2 x cube plus 8 upon x square plus 8x plus 12. If you have any problem in any of the example, you can unmute yourself and ask your doubt immediately. No problem at all. If you put x equal to minus 2 here, we get minus 8 plus 8. If you put here minus 2, we get 4 minus 16 plus 12. So here we get 0, here also we get 0. So one factor is x plus 2. So one factor is x plus 2. And here you have to use the factorization by using this formula, a cube plus b cube. Formula of that is a plus b, a square minus a b plus b square. This is the formula for a cube plus b cube. So this 8 is nothing but 2 cube. So a x equal a equal to x and b equal to 2. So if you put a equal to x, so we get here x square, here minus 2x plus 2 square 4. And here factor is x plus 2 and x plus 6. So if we cancel this, so we get, if you put x equal to minus 4, mi sorry, minus 2, minus 2 square, that is 4 minus 2 into minus 2 that is plus 4 plus 4 upon minus 2 plus 6 so here we get 12 divided by 4 and that is nothing but 3 so for question number 18 the answer is 3 question number 18 answer is 3 this 19 we already done in our previous lecture 19 20 21 22 now let us do question number 23. Question number 23. Question is, limit x tends to 0 in bracket 1 upon x in another bracket 2x plus 9 upon x plus 3 minus 3. This is the question. Now, sometimes when we have this type of question before putting the value of x equal to 0 what will happen if you put x equal to 0 here we will 1 upon 0 1 upon 0 is infinite so ultimately we get infinite answer so one we have this type of question before putting value of x here it's better to simplify this it's better to simplify this so how to simplify see first of all Keep this 1 upon x as it is. Here you can take x plus 3 LCM. For this particular part, take x plus 3 LCM. So we have to multiply this x plus 3 with this 3. So here this 2x plus 9 as it is. And if you multiply by minus 3, here we get minus 3x minus 9. And then after one more step for simplification, 1 upon x as it is, this uh, plus 9 minus 9 cancel, 2x minus 3x we get minus x upon x plus 3. And you can cancel this x also, 
so ultimately our question becomes now like this in numerator we get minus 1 upon x plus 3 and now put x equal to 0 so if we put x equal to 0 what we get minus 1 upon 0 plus 3 so ultimate answer is minus 1 by 3 so this is the answer for question number 23 the answer is Minus one by three. Question number twenty-four. Is limit x tends to zero. Two x cube plus seven x square plus five x plus six upon x square plus seven x plus Now, what we have to do? Once again, put x equal to zero and see what we get. If we put zero, we get two. Zero cube is zero into two. Zero. This also we get zero. Zero plus six as it is. Upon here, if we put zero, zero and here plus six as it is. So in numerator we get six. Denominator we get six and we get answer one. It is not zero by zero. If it is zero by zero, then we have to proceed. But here we don't have zero by zero. That means whatever this, that is our final answer. So for question number twenty-four, the answer is minus one. So this is the way to solve the questions. But these all questions are compared to next few questions simple. Now. Question number twenty-five. It is slight complicated. Let us start. Uh, once again, any of you have any doubt? You can ask your doubt. You can unmute your mic and ask your doubt immediately without any problem. You can unmute your mic and ask your doubt. Anybody have any doubt? Okay. Now. Let us start question number twenty-five. The question question is limit x tends to two x cube minus two x minus four upon x cube plus x x cube minus x square minus x minus two. This is the question. Uh, first of all, put two. So two cube is eight. Two to the four, four. Two cube is eight. Two square is four. Minus two, minus two. So here we get zero by zero. And once we have a zero by zero, we know that we have to factorize. So here factor is x minus two. Is one of the factor. Now use the same method. Division rule for numerator x cube minus 2x minus 4 and here you have to write x minus 2. Use the same method, division method. Okay, first of all, first term x cube divided by x. That is what x square. So put here x square and multiply x square with these two terms. So we get x cube minus 2x square. Now change the sign minus. Plus, so this x cube minus x cube cancel. Here there is no x square. This is minus 2x. It is not x square. So just keep this 2x square as it is, and this minus 2x as well as minus 4. Keep that as it is. Now repeat. Now 2x square upon x. That means 2x. Now multiply 2x with this these two terms. So it is 2x square minus 4x. Change the sign minus plus 2x cube. 2x cube cancel. Minus 2x plus 4x is what 2x. And keep this minus 4 as it is. Now 2x divided by x that means what 2. So multiplied by 2. So we get 2x minus 4. And now change the sign minus plus. And this will cancel. And here we get 0. Once we have 0 here. we can say that this into this 
is the factor of numerator so now factor of numerator is available that is what x minus 2 and x square plus 2x plus 2 now for denominator now same rule you have to apply for denominator here you write x cube minus x square minus x minus 2 here you write x minus 2 okay then first term x cube divide by x so here you write x square so multiplied by x square we get x cube minus 2x square change the sign minus plus this and this cancel here minus x square here plus 2x square so we get plus x square and keep this minus x minus 2 as it is now x square divided by x so we get here plus x so multiplied by x so we get x square minus 2x change the sign minus plus so this will cancel minus x plus 2x we get only x and minus 2 is there multiply uh, sorry x upon x is what 1 so here we get plus 1 so here ultimately we get x minus 2 change the sign minus plus this and this cancel and once we have zero here we can say that this is the factor of denominator x minus 2 and x square plus x plus 1 so now instead of this numerator and denominator you can write this into this for numerator and this into this for denominator so what is our question now so question is limit x tends to 2 one factor is x plus 2 both in numerator as well as in denominator and in numerator it is x square plus 2x plus 2 and here x square plus x plus 1 so x square plus 2x plus 2 and here we have x square plus x plus 1 and now cancel this sir yes वहाँ x वहाँ x minus वो x minus two नहीं आएगा यहाँ पे हाँ x minus two मैं कहाँ पे यहाँ पे नहीं 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 आपने नीचे लिखा ना सर जो आपने कट किया ना वो वाला x minus two x minus two आपने x या या you are you are right you are right I'm sorry. Ah, this is x minus two. You are right. And now, yeah. And then now put x equal to two. Uh, it's better. मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा लगा. So many of the student have uh, have lot of concentration in that particular question. So I feel very happy. You are uh, doing your best. Very good. Uh, now put x equal to two. So if we put two, we get here four plus four plus two, and here four plus two plus one. So ultimately, answer okay, is ten by seven. So ten by seven is the answer for question number twenty-five. Same thing you can do this question for practice point of view. Let us do this question also. Number sixteen, or or do one thing. Consider this as of your homework, and if you have any problem, we will discuss in our next lecture. That is better. Try to solve this question by yourself, and if you find any problem, I will solve this question in next lecture. Okay, let us do this question number twenty-seven. The question is limit x tends to two. One upon x square minus one upon four divided by one upon x cube minus one upon eight. This is the question. Now, if you put x equal to two here, if you put x equal to two, what we get here? We get one upon two square is four. One by four minus one by four. Here we get one by eight minus one by eight, and here we get zero. Here we get zero. 
so we can say that one factor is x minus two. X minus two is one factor. Okay, but see, it's look like slight complicated question. Reason you cannot write x minus two right uh, straight forward as a one factor easily. So it's better instead of doing. No doubt, it is true. It is true. But factorization is not that much simple, and this method of division is also not uh, very simple in this type of question because the power of x here power of x is three positive power. If we write this, we get x raised to minus two. We get x raised to minus two, so it's a negative power. And in that case, this method method of division is not useful or not become simple method. So what we have to do? It's better to simplify first of all. Now, how to simplify? In numerator, in numerator, take four x square as LCM. 4x square is LCM. So here we get 4 minus x square. In numerator we get 4 minus x square. Same way in denominator you can take 8x cube as LCM. 8x cube as LCM. So we get here 8 minus x cube. Now we know that if there is a question like this, a upon b divided by c upon d. So this b we have to write in denominator and this. Uh, we have to write in numerator. So ultimately, we get a upon b into d upon c. It's like this. So if we simplify this in that way, so here we get limit x tends to two. This four minus x square upon four x square as it is into this. You have to write like d by c. So eight x cube upon eight minus x cube. And now, uh, see, ultimately this x minus two, or you can write two minus x. Both are the factor. The reason is here x tends to two is there. You can take this x in this side. That is also possible. So either x minus two or two minus x. Both are the possible factors. So here, if we simplify, you can use the formula of a square minus b square. So you will get the factor like. Here, two minus x, two plus x. Okay, and uh, see if we cancel this four and this, so we get here two. If we cancel x square and here, if we cancel, then we get here two x. So keeping this two x in numerator as it is, divided by now eight minus x cube. It's look like a cube minus b cube. We are a equal to two because eight is a two square two cube. So And b equal to what? X. So factor of this is a minus b a square plus a b plus b square. This is the factor. Or you can use the division method for this. No problem. So here we get two minus x. That is one. X minus a minus b. Putting a equal to two and b equal to x. And here we get four plus two x plus x square. And now you can cancel two minus x. And now put x equal to two. So if you put x equal to two, we get two plus two four. And here we get two to the four. Here we get four four. Two to the four and two square is four. So ultimately two to the four into four upon twelve. You can cancel this and this twelve four. So here we get three. So ultimately answer is four by three. So four by three. That is the answer for question number twenty-seven. So, what we have to do in this question? You can't get simply x minus two as a direct factor. Okay. One more thing. One another thing is also possible. See, uh, when we have a this type of situation, x tends to two. So once we have a zero by zero, you can say that. You can take the reciprocal. One upon x tends to one upon two. You can do like this also. And now one upon x minus one upon two. This you consider as a your factor. That is also possible. So let us do the same question in a different way. Question number twenty-seven in a different way. Maybe 
we get more quick answer. See, limit x tends to 2, 1 upon x square minus 1 upon 4, divided by 1 upon x cube minus 1 upon 8. So use the formula or use the result which 1 upon x the whole square minus 1 upon 2 the whole square divided by 1 upon x the whole cube minus 1 upon 2 the whole cube and now it's look like a square minus b square divided so a square minus b square let us do the factorization for numerator so factor is 1 upon a square minus b square a minus b a plus b a is 1 upon x 1 upon x minus 1 upon 2 1 upon x plus 1 upon 2 and this look like a cube minus b cube so once again same factors same way 1 upon x minus 1 upon 2 and another factor is a square plus a b so 1 upon x into 1 upon 2 means 1 upon 2 x plus b square 1 upon 4 once again a cube minus b cube factor of that is a minus b a square plus a b plus b square but here a equal to you have to write 1 upon x and b equal to 1 upon 2 and if we write like this you will get this factor and now you can cancel this and put x equal to 2 so 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 whole divided by 1 upon 2 square 4 2 to the 4 and 1 by 4 as it is now 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 2 is lcm so it is 2 upon 2 and here we get 4 lcm so we get 3 upon 4 so here we get 1 here we get 3 by 4 and you can take 4 in numerator so 4 by 3 ultimately we have a same answer but this is slight difficult but it is short whereas this is lengthy but simple the previous method is lengthy but simple so you have a two choice to solve this question you can solve by any of the method any of you any problem you can ask your doubt Now let us do question number 28. The question is limit x tends to 3 in bracket 1 upon x minus 3 minus 3 upon x square minus 3x. Now same thing if we put 3 here so we get 3 minus 3 what we get 0 and 1 upon 0 if that becomes infinite in that case we are not able to get the correct answer. So, once again, it's better to simplify. Now, how to simplify? See, this keep this x minus 3 as it is, but here you can take x common. So, we get x minus 3. And now, take LCM. What is the LCM here? x into x minus 3. That is the LCM. So, here you have to write here you have to write because x minus 3 is already there you have to write x minus here x x minus 3 both are there so you have to write simply 3 so x minus 3 and now obviously this x minus 3 you can cancel and what is the remaining part the remaining part is 1 upon x now put x equal to 3 so 1 upon 3 that is the answer so sometimes uh, our question is not uh, look like difficult but it is not actually only one or two important steps that you have to do here you have to first of all you have to take x common and then you have to take lc without putting c normally if the question is simple and we get direct 0 by 0 then we have a we have to factorize but if it is not like this or if it is like infinite whenever we get answer like infinite in that case it's better to do like this okay uh, question number 29 we will discuss later on and from 30 onwards it's a different type of questions so we will discuss that in our next lecture but uh, let us write two examples 
एज अ होमवर्क क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव सेवेंटी बी सी एंड ई सेवेंटी वन बी फर्स्ट फोर i will put this new file in our chat i will upload so you will get uh, no need to write this homework right now uh, you will able to find out your homework so it is enough for today if any of you any doubt you can ask your doubt